What is a rig? Well, essentially, a rig is an object or objects that make it easier for you to animate your 3D asset. Now, you don't actually need a rig to do some animations. In this example, there is no rig at all. I'm just animating the ball going around in a circle, so there's no rig required. But if you want to do anything more fancy than this, say, add squash and stretch to our ball here, then you need to have a rig. Now, most of the time, a rig should consist of just one object. That would be an armature. Now, it doesn't just have to consist of one. It could have two or more armatures. You could have some helper meshes or even empty objects, curve objects. A car rig might have lights attached to it. A camera rig should hopefully have a camera attached to it. All of these objects can be parented and constrained together to create what is called your rig. Now, even though we might have multiple objects or multiple armatures inside our rig, the aim is to only have the animator actually animate one armature. Now, if you're one of those people who rigs your characters or objects with a whole bunch of empties, like multiple to hundreds of empties, I want you to stop doing that right now. I'll explain why it's not a good idea a little bit later. So all of these objects are part of your rig. Now, what are we concerning ourselves with the most in this course? Well, the thing that we should be animating, the armature. Say it with me, the armature. Now, why are we using an armature? Well, maybe I'll explain how I think about how everything works inside Blender first, and then it will make perfect sense. I think of it like this. Everything in Blender is a container. You're starting with your 3D scene. That is a container for objects. And we've obviously got different types of objects, meshes, lights, cameras, and armatures. And each of these types of objects have their own data that can be attached. So obviously when you've got a camera, it's the camera data. When you've got a mesh, it's the mesh data. When you've got an armature, it's the armature type data. Now when we animate any object inside Blender, we get a new type of container called an action, and that is linked to the object. So say if we've got a rig that has 500 empties or different objects as being the control objects, that means 500 separate animation actions that we need to keep track of as an animator. But if we use one armature with 500 controls, that is one action that we have to control, making it a lot more simple. Plus we get some really handy animation tools when using the armature type objects. That's why we want to rig as much as we can with the armature. In the next video, I'll explain how armatures work.